Hello everyone, welcome back to the Royal Legacy Let's Play. What you are seeing right here is an assortment of portraits that I've had the family pose for um, so that we can hang them on these very walls. Oh, the walls are gone. <laughs> these very walls, I mean. <laughs> um, they'll be decorating the whole Grand Hall with all of these lovely paintings by uh, Matthias over here. Uh, right now, he's actually painting a portrait of the infant Nicholas, and here is just in-progress portraits. I just wanted to get them all posed and done. He's gonna finish them as the day goes on. So yeah, this, this uh, palace is gonna be just littered with pictures of our lovely royal family, and hopefully there's another one on the way soon so that we can pose that child with the others, and it'll just be so great. I don't know what is happening with these glitches in the columns over here, but um, it's fine. So, <laughs> Matthias is going to resume all of the paintings and we will figure out where to hang them when he is done. The king and queen are just like chilling. Um, oh wait, she's like sad from not playing music? Oh, wait, that's kind of depressing. <laughs> Hold on, y'all need to eat. So come and grab a serving of breakfast together. Um, and today we are going to be inviting the goths over, AKA they're gonna be stopping by to plead their case to um, get Don Lothario back in their good graces and legitimize him so that their daughter isn't scandalized. Um, and I've, I've heard some people suggesting maybe like offering him a position in the royal army or something like that. And I think I think I like that idea. I think I like the idea of Don Lothario being like a oh. <laughs> for five minutes and his royal highness king nicholas of newcrest has just we are all ready <laughs> why have you done this i'm just <laughs> what is happening oh wow um <laughs> Guys, I can't. I don't think I can recover from this. I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop recording. Uh, this is it. This is the end of the episode. Um, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> oh Lord, why? Is there like a reason he's done this? He doesn't have any mood. <laughs> what? <laughs> is he gonna put his clothes back on? Is he just gonna? I no! <laughs> Dear God, why? <laughs> Whoa, okay, that was a lot for me. <laughs> it's been five minutes, guys. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, as I was saying, um, yep, Don Lothario is gonna be um, put into, like, you know, the Royal Navy or something to give him some position. He's definitely, like, a slimy guy. Like, he's definitely, like, into smuggling or, like, something immoral. Um, here, come and play. Play. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. <laughs> That's a song that, um, <laughs> another Outlander reference. Um, one of the characters sings that song to to their baby. It's it's a whole it's a whole thing. It's like a big plot point. Um Hopefully that'll Okay, good. Her mood light went away. He's going to work. Um da, 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 na, 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 na. Oh my darling Clementine. Roger McKenzie is quaking. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so he's probably into, like, smuggling and stuff, like, maybe he's, like, a pirate or something, and to give him, like, legitimacy as a seafarer, uh, the king and queen are gonna maybe make him, um, oh, are you okay? No, we'll cheat your needs, because I'm not responsible for you. Um, to make him legit as a seafarer, the king and queen are gonna just put him in the navy, um, and he'll probably still be a sleaze bag, um, but... You know, there's nothing really much to do about that. It's just the title to give legitimacy so that poor Cassandra doesn't have her reputation absolutely ruined. And honestly, I think it would make sense that Don Lothario is, like, you know, a traveler on the ocean since he's from 
uh, Oasis Springs, which is, like I've said, kind of like the Middle East world. So it would require traveling for people to get to and from there. So, oh my god, imagine then, like, the logistics of that, of him, like, taking Cassandra on his boat and just, like, dipping. <laughs> like, <laughs> ooh, that's messed up. Okay. And how was our wee Nicholas doing? I've gotten multiple comments, by the way, that um, he wouldn't have the, the you know, Nicholas the second in his name until um, he decides to take over the throne. So I will be taking care of that. I'll, I'll fix that um, once I can... I don't think I can take him into MC Command Center while he's sleeping, but uh, we'll get to that. Speaking of which, I have installed the Life's Tragedies mod. It was suggested to me. Um, yes, I have disabled... Let's see. Um, I've disabled bullies, car accidents, and serial killers because... Um, <laughs> no thank you to any of those. I have enabled the Fatal Illness... Um, armed robbery, because I feel like that would make sense. I feel like it would be pretty common for there to be people trying to rob the royal palace. And I've also enabled kidnapping because I feel like, again, it would be pretty common for the, you see this in like, you know, stories all the time. Like, you know, I've never actually heard it happening in history, but you see in like, you know, fantasy things about royalty that, you know, the, the, the royal prince, the, the little princess has been kidnapped for ransom, you know, and the, the king has to offer up the ransom. So I feel like that would be, that'd be pretty cool. And I have it on, where is, where is it? I have it on normal speed, so it shouldn't happen like too, too often, but I didn't want to have it on slow because I didn't want it to never happen. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I just kind of whistled there a little bit. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> uh, so um, anyway, ooh, let's look at this painting. Oh, look at him. Look at our wee prince. I spent like two hours like using different poses and, you know, capturing different paintings and everything. Oh, and look at this one. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. I can't wait to hang that on the wall. <gasps> I'm so pleased. I, I'm not kidding. I spent hours. I had resize mods enabled to, you know, make him look tinier for this. He's normal size here and he's really little here. There's a couple of other ones where he's little. Um, cause I wanted to make it look like these were his like baby pictures that, you know, they painted him as a baby, especially because he's going to be the king. This one he's sized down in. It's not finished yet, but, oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I love this. I love like building the world around me, like in my Sims game by like, you know, taking pictures or in this case, painting portraits. Um, oh, he's using his diapy. Naughty boy. It's okay. Corinne will take care of you when you wake up, my love. He slept uh, pretty late. I'm going to have him wake up actually. I think it's because I had to get them up. I had I was doing this the the portraits in the middle of the night so that we wouldn't lose any gameplay time and then I was just going to cheat their energy and you know reset everything. Um, but I think I I might have uh, fiddled with his energy a bit too much and screwed that up. Um, so I'm going to have her actually invite over Bella Goth because um, they are going to come over together. But Isabella is her very best friend um, and Bella would probably come over by herself first. Um, you know, and tell Mortimer, like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, play a game of cards with her and, like, you know, walk the grounds and be buddies. But she's probably gonna, you know, get in there before her husband does and be like, please, please treat Don Lothario with mercy. Please help my daughter. Um, so yeah, there he is. Good morning, little prince. Oh, he is such a cutie patootie. <laughs> I really hope nothing happens to him with the Life Tragedies mod. Like, please don't die, my little boy. <laughs> okay, to fix his name, I think I have to go fully into, like, Edit Household. And I don't really feel like doing that right now because then it's going to, like, reset all my Sims from, like, doing their current task. So I'll do it after this episode. Sorry, I forgot to do it again. <laughs> I am reading your comments, though. I promise. I I definitely recognize that. You're right. I don't think he'd be called Nicholas II right away. I uh, jumped the gun on that one. Um, but that's all right. We'll fix it later. I won't call him that when I speak of him. His name will just say it on his little bubble. Look at it says Crown Royal. Oh, what a good, what a good doobie. That's what, that's what my mom says to my dog. She goes, what a good doobie. <laughs> Corinne. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. <laughs> this song's gonna be in my head forever now. <laughs> it's bad enough that I was hearing it on, um, <laughs> freaking Outlander. Now it's, I literally played it in The Sims. Why can't we call her over? Okay, I know the solution. We teleport her and bada bing, bada boom. Okay, hello, Nikki. I feel like they would definitely call him Nikki. I think I said that in the last episode, um, but they would definitely call him Nikki. Okay, so he needs to be fed. So, hello, little boy. He's so cute. 
evidently I accidentally um, did this instead of changing his outfit. So I'll get rid of the number, the, the Roman numerals while we're here. So glad I just reset all of my Sims. Awesome. <laughs> oh, also some updates about the social lives of the the place while I have, um, because Bella Goth just showed up and um, also Luna, uh, Luna Villarreal showed up, or should I say, formerly Luna Villarreal, I got a suggestion to pair her with Malcolm Landgrab. Um, so I did. I originally was going to pair Cassandra and Malcolm, but since Cassandra went and eloped with Don Lothario, which is just the most Don thing ever, <laughs> um, Luna Landgrab was left, and they're both teens, so I figured it would make sense. Um, so she married to, she married to, she got married to Malcolm Landgrab, um, a very fitting match, an arranged marriage. Um, and also while I was doing that and like adjusting households and stuff, cause I did that all off camera while I was setting up for portraits and stuff. Um, which also, I, I don't know why she's here. I invited Bella Goth over. I don't know why Luna decided to show up as well, but I mean, like, I guess she can come in. I, maybe, maybe she's like really good friends with Cassandra or something. And she wants to like on her behalf help out, which I feel like she wouldn't be out without her husband, especially cause she's so young, but whatever. Um, so also I saw that the land grabs. Um, Nancy and Jeffrey had twins. Um, they had twin girls, which like like completely autonomously because I used MC Command Center to to let that stuff happen. So they they had they had twin girls, and I think that's really cool. And definitely, absolutely, one of them is going to be marrying our son. Um, she is going to be the future princess because like you know Nancy and Jeffrey are probably like you know lords and ladies. Oh hello, hello Isabella, my love. Um, oh mm, was that a Freudian slip? Did I mean to call her my love? <laughs> just kidding uh, no adultery yet in this series we'll, we'll get there we'll get there um I wanted to have a semi-normal I wanted to have a semi-happy couple for the first um royal couple but we'll, we'll get to the adultery and stuff oh well um she is feeling flirty and she just seemed to kind of be flirting with us so I don't really know what, and, well I mean if the shoe fits right okay um, we're gonna talk, boast about family, because, you know, Nicholas is, is here and everything. <laughs> Banter with old friend. I've never seen that interaction. That sounds kind of funny. Um, blah, 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 blah. friendly. And then have a deep conversation. Talk to her about your daughter. Um, okay. Also, how is Nicholas? Is he eating? Is he, is he being a good boy? Little Nicky? Aw, he's so cute. Look at you with your little yogurt. I love you, buddy. Okay. And his needs, he definitely needs fun. Uh, when he's done, I want him to play with Blarfy, actually, because I would like him to get his social skill up. How are his, like, skills doing in general? Communication is almost level one. Movement is not so good. How do you improve movement skill? Well, I think dancing gets the movement skill up. We're going to do that. We'll, we'll, we'll take him downstairs uh, to meet Isabella. Well, not meet. She's met him already. But um, maybe we can play a song and have the baby uh talk to uh be, just be around Isabella because you know women came around to to see their friends babies a lot and stuff it was a big deal when a baby was born and it was healthy like it was it was a lot to celebrate back then because it was very difficult to bring a healthy child into the where did she go <laughs> oh she sat down at the table um especially a royal baby a royal baby that will be the king because you know he's a boy so oh they're gonna banter I'm so excited we love friendly banter is Luna still on our front porch <laughs> Is no one going to let her in? Yep, she's still standing there. Um, honestly, I might leave her there and just wait until someone lets her in because I'm um, not in the mood. I mean, mm, I could turn this into like a really bad thing where like Luna's here to see the king because she's like sleeping with the king. But I literally just said that I didn't want there to be any adultery in this first marriage. But I mean, it is kind of weird that she's here uninvited. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Did you have your deep conversation yet? Can you stop being flirty, Isabella? You have more important things to worry about, like your daughter. Here, reveal deep secrets. That that would be that would be helpful, I think. Oh. Elaine Windenberg. The ancient ruins, Elaine. That's quite scandalous. Um, no, I'm sorry. We have we are previously engaged with, with Miss Goth here. Yes. Okay. Is he still in his high chair? Are you okay, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Um, where's Corinne? Here, actually, you know what? Why don't you pick him up here? 
Okay, hey baby boy. Here, can you pick him up? Pick up your little son. Okay, Nicholas is home. Let's see, um, what can we do? Oh, he uses his movement skill every time he walks. Dancing would make it go faster, but that's okay. Here, go babble to Blarfy. I don't know where Bella's going. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a kidnapper on our lot. Well, he's not on our lot, but he's like right here. Oh my god. Please stay away from my family. <laughs> oh, that's scary. Okay. I'm freaked out. Please. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we are all here in the parlor of the royal home. Um, we're going to just all take a seat. Let's see. Um, okay, Nicholas is going to have a deep conversation with Mortimer Goth um, so that we can get this all settled. Um, here, you go talk to Isabella. Tell her an engaging story. We'll just pretend they're talking, you know. Okay, so they're having a deep conversation. We're all talking. Good, 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 good. Go greet Mortimer. We definitely should have Samantha cook dinner for all of us before I forget. Oh, Nicholas reached communication level two. Very good indeed. Um, can you play this stuff? Oh, stacking helps movement skill. That's good. Here, stack till the cows come home. Get stack help from Corinne. Just play with the nanny. Oh, good. They're all, they're all chatting together now. Wait, that's very good. That's exactly what we wanted. I think this is going very well, I would say. Let's see. Um, he's still not getting any relationship up with this guy. He literally has, like, been here forever. He's been here, over here so many times. Nicholas, are you flirting with your wife in front of Mortimer? That is not appropriate right now. <laughs> That is not the goal right now, sir. <laughs> okay, well, I think this is going well. Um, I think we're doing good. Let's see, has she, Samantha finished cooking yet? No. Oh, Matthias has finished the, oh, he, he skipped this one. Bro, why'd you do that? Look, 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 look. <gasps> They're so pretty. They're so cute. Guys, I can't wait to put these on the wall. They're so cute, okay. <sighs> I love this family. I'm obsessed. Go resume it. Okay, he's going to get potty help from... Get potty help from Corinne. Okay, you know what, Matthias? You could eat with us. That's okay. Mortimer seems to have left us because uh, he put a plate down on the table and then just didn't eat it. So there's that. Um, we're just kind of chilling and dealing with that. <laughs> Is he going potty? Is he being a good boy? All right, they definitely need to um, tell everyone to go home. Don't act so shocked. It's 11 o'clock at night. Goodbye. Okay, that outfit is not period. I did not give you that outfit. Okay, these two need to pee. <laughs> so I would say that that went pretty well. Um, I think the goths definitely got what they wanted. Oh, hey, Nikki boy. Did you finish? Okay, you just need to go to sleep because it's very late. You'll eat again in the morning. Uh, we'll take care of you then. Don't worry about it. I have no idea where your nanny is. His and her royal highnesses need to use the party. And then they need to woohoo because his fun is very low. And I really would love for uh, Prince Nicky to have a brother or sister. So let's get on that, please. Preferably a sister so that I can use all of my adorable little girl CC. And have a little princess in the house. Wouldn't that just be so cute? Okay, now, while you're done with that, let us woohoo with Catherine. Not us, just you. I, not me. Just you, you guys. You guys do that. <laughs> and as usual, they are focused right when they are about to do it. <laughs> I think I'll leave them in the same bed for tonight, just, just for funsies. Oh, please let you have a baby. Please get pregnant. We need the air and the spare kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? All right, our little prince is very hungry. Uh, we didn't feed him last night because we're bad people. Um, but hey, Corinne, that is not your uniform. <laughs> but uh, so he's going to ask for food, uh, probably quite demandingly. Um, he is a starving baby. He's throwing a tantrum. No, honey, don't do it. <laughs> honey, don't. Don't do it. 
I know you're so it's because your your sleep schedule got all thrown off yesterday because you slept too late because of the because of the portraits being done. Come on, get your food. Bite? <laughs> no. You'll not be biting anybody. All right, her majesty is taking a bath because she is literally so stinky. I'm so tempted to take a pregnancy test, but I won't. I won't, I promise, because I like to be surprised. I might have her uh, jump on him again after he wakes up because I really want them to have another baby. <laughs> and I refuse to use try for baby. I have to use the risky woohoo because, you know, that's just how it would work with the chances and everything. Please go feed the child before he gets taken away from us. <sighs> okay, there you go, little buddy. I need to take this dress out of my game. It's a shame because it's so beautiful, but it's very glitchy. And I just, I, I, I did some CC shopping recently. Um, I haven't made the video, I haven't recorded the video on it, on it yet, but I definitely will be posting a CC shopping video. If you guys want, if you guys don't really have any interest in that, then like, then it's okay. Then we didn't, I won't, I, but you know, I feel like because it's, um, it's all going to be like royalty and, and, you know, historical CC. I feel like you guys would be into that. So I did it once before in The Sims 4 and I found a whole wealth of it. One of my viewers, Whispering Sims, uh, they told me to go to their Tumblr and check out all the things they've reblogged. And I did that. And I have like hundreds and hundreds of posts that I need to uh, download and put in my game. And then I can get rid of glitchy stuff like this and other stuff that doesn't work. And um, yeah, so let me know if you guys are excited for another CC shopping video because you're going to get one. <laughs> Oh, hi, baby. Oh, that's so sweet. She's sitting and they're talking. Wait, that's so cute. Hold on. I want a screenshot of, of baby and nanny. Ooh, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I love that. Oh, you cannot go to work until you eat, sir. Okay, you need to get potty help, mister. Let's see. Um, Where's your little potty? It's right in here. All right, Nicholas, go eat eggs and toast. Oh, the stove is broken. Let's just replace it, because we're royalty, and that's fine. <laughs> no! He's wetting himself! Bad boy! No! Oh, fine. We'll give you a bath. Here, help. Take a bath. It's okay, little buddy. Okay, the king's off to work. The, the queen and him have eaten. Stinky baby needs a bath. Okay, so today... I think now that we've succeeded in, now that the Goths have succeeded in winning his and her majesty's favor, I think we should um, invite over the entire family. Oh, Elaine wants to hang out again. The bluffs. Um, no, we need to stay home. We need to be with the child. Um, he's taking a bath now. Very good. Um, oh, look at the little booger. What's wrong, baby? Why are you so sad, honey? He needs to learn. He's not doing well with his, uh, he's inquisitive, so he has a need to learn. Uh, we'll definitely help him with that. But as I was saying, um, we're going to invite over all of the Goths, including Cassandra and Le uh, Don Lothario also, because we want to, you know, officially offer him his title and, you know, kind of accept them into the family. Um, also, I don't remember if I ever finished what I was saying. Sorry if you can hear my dogs barking. My brother likes to annoy them because he knows it annoys me. Um, but also, bleh, I don't think I was finishing what I was saying before, um, is that Nancy and Jeffrey Landgrab, like, all of the nobles in this game are kind of like, um, why don't you go paint something? Um, they're kind of like, you know, they're like lords and ladies, and they're definitely, like, high-ranking, so... Until, unless there was an actual, like, princess princess around, which as far as I can tell, um, Elaine and, uh, what's his name? James have only had the one son so far, and, um, he can't marry our son. <laughs> Sadly, that is not accepted yet. Um, so I'm, the, and the babies, the, um, the land grab babies, they are the first, um, noble children to be born. So I think, my teeth just whistled again. What the frick? <laughs> So, um, definitely. And th I need to rename them. Their names are like, like Kendra and Megan or something like that, which is just simply not period, but, um, it's fine. We'll work on that. Okay, child, you need to learn. How are your skills? Communication level two, movement level one, potty level one, thinking level one. Okay. Um, well, why don't you... Here, let's see. Let's get stack help from Corinne while mommy paints in the nursery, which I think is adorable. 
This is so cute. You've got mommy painting and nanny helping him play with blocks and it's just so cute. Speaking of paintings, I do need to arrange those paintings in the royal, the royal hall. Maybe I'll do that right now. Oh, Nicholas just came home from work. That's good. Okay, so here are all the finished products. I've got to do some rearranging because I want to use this wall right here. Ooh, look at how precious. Look at how sweet. I am dead. I can put this one over here. Oh, Nicholas's head is getting cut off in this one. <laughs> oh, well. I should think about that next time and not put their heads so close to the top because the frame automatically cuts some out. Look how nice that looks. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I'm so pleased. We'll definitely have to do some resizing once there are more portraits and more, more children to put on display and, you know, more and more generations. But for now, this will work. We've got two portraits of the baby in different poses. We'll replace one of those with the second baby. Once, once she comes, I really would like a little princess. I'm still holding on hope. There you have it, folks. A lovely, lovely, ginormous wall of ginormous, beautiful paintings of all of the royal family. And we got more on this side. And I can't wait to fill it with even more babies. And I'm so happy. I don't like that you can't see it zoomed out, but it's it looks nice. It does. It actually looks really nice. I'm really happy. Okay. All right. Now that Nicholas is home, I say that he should. Oh, what's what's wrong with you? Oh, he's feeling angry. From his hot-headed trait, understandably so, my dude. Here, come up here. Take a pee, take a bath, and then I'm gonna have him throw a party because I don't think inviting them over will be good enough. I would like to have an actual party and meet all the goals, and then if it's a, um, if it's a, if, ooh, I'm having trouble speaking. If the event is a gold event, then we will say that yes, it worked, and Don and Cassandra will not be disgraced. So that's the goal. His movement skill is doing pretty good. I'm super proud of him. Yay, movement level two, good boy. I am so proud of you, my little booger. Yay, what a good boy. Good little nugget. Plan social event. Let's go, boy. Oh, that's a lovely painting. We can actually keep this in the house. That's pretty. I'm a fan. All right, we're going to have a dinner party. Okay, hosts will be us two, obviously. Invite. We shouldn't invite little Alexander. He should, he should stay home, unless he's a teen already, which... You know, what kind of name is Goopy? <laughs> I named one of my fish Goopy when I was a child. <laughs> okay. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. They aged up. Oh, oh. Kennedy and Megan. Okay, I'm going to have to rename them. Let me know what you think I should rename um, the, the, the baby land grab twins. Oh, my goodness. That's so fun. One of them is definitely going to marry Nicholas. It's just a matter of which. So give me a name and then I guess tell me which one they should marry. It really doesn't matter. I mean... In terms of, like, how they thought of things back then, they're, you know, they're both eligible. And if one of them dies, you have the other one. So, okay, Don and Cassandra Lafario. Okay, we got four ghosts. Ghosts? <laughs> oh, God. Four guests. No caterer, because we have Samantha. And the royal family palace it is. Okay, that's right. Put on your royal attire. All is well. Let's get downstairs and greet our guest. Baby Nicholas will be taken very good care of by his nanny. No worries. Okay, so since this is a dinner party, we're going to stay in the dining room. Hope everyone else does so as well. Oh, here are the guests. They're all coming inside. Okay, so uh, my game was big fat glitching. So I ended the party. Um, actually, sorry, I didn't yet. I sent everybody home is what I meant to say. And um, I, I, I used the make sim leave cheat. And we have a silver now for the party. Um, because nothing, they weren't doing anything. They were just standing around, resetting them wasn't working, and I was getting very frustrated. And also the live-in service mod, like, kind of took a dump. So I had to, I had to fire Samantha. <laughs> Not fire. I actually, I literally deleted Samantha. Like, I clicked delete sim because she wasn't moving. And she didn't, like, if, if you hover over, see when you hover over Corinne, it says nanny. Um, and when you hover over, uh, her name is now... Summer Harrington, um, she says, made, yeah, Samantha was not doing that, um, 
and it was it was bad. It was really bad. Um, so I had to completely delete her because I couldn't. And I hit the M key. So I had to completely delete her because I couldn't do anything else with her and I couldn't hire another maid. So the only way to hire another maid was to completely delete the first one. So as far as we're concerned, Samantha never existed. <laughs> so today is going really great, you guys. Um, but anyway, so the party didn't get gold, but I literally wasted the entire night trying to get it to be that way. Um, and I think I gained a couple of gray hairs from it, uh, which is so great. Um, we were literally awake until 7.30 a.m. And then I cheated their energy up and just pretended that the party had gone as planned. And everything's fine. Cassandra and Don Lothario are fine. Their union has now been blessed. Uh, Don Lothario has been offered a position in the Royal Navy. Um, everything's great. Everything is grand. I've got the whole wide world in the palm of my hand. <laughs> Um, but these two are gonna woohoo. I need to end this part because I am literally about to rip my hair out because the gameplay for this has been extremely frustrating. Um, I don't know why everything decided to take forever and, and glitch and I hit the M key again. <laughs> Um, but anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think of this whole plot to move Don Lothario up in the world. Let me know if you are glad that him and Cassandra are are all good now and I mean I'm glad because I'm really happy that we don't have to end our friendship with Isabella because she was she's a great friend to us um and you know she's really important to our family and let me know what you think of the the land grab twins the new land grab twins and one of them potentially marrying Nicholas um leave some baby names for the land grab twins and I know we we already have baby names but you guys wanted me to use those like for royal babies but let me know like specifically what you think like Anne Landgrab and Jeffrey Landgrab would name their twins um, in this era. So yeah, um, I really freaking hope that she's pregnant with a little princess. I really, really want to have a little princess and I really would like that. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop babbling. This episode was exhausting, but let me know what you guys think of it. I, I was enjoying myself in the beginning and then everything kind of just got hectic. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to finish this episode for like three hours and it's probably only going to be like a 20 minute video. So, um, <laughs> that's how much I love you guys. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, let me know what you think of all that. Baby names for the twins. Um, blah, yeah, this is Simmer Rose. Have a great day, guys.